Hello, and welcome to a quick concept update from Nikkor Store. Today, we will be discussing the differences between the P10iX and P20iX. Joining me today is the wonderful, wonderful, I don't remember writing that part. I put that there. I'm wonderful. Of course, right. Joining me today is, of course, Intern Kelly. Good afternoon. We are not a talk show host, so I will not be asking you how you are doing. Let's get right into it. What have you prepared for us today? Well, with the recent uh, announcement of the P10iX product video, we received many comments asking what the difference between the P10iX and the P20iX are. Cool. So then I guess a quick refresher is in order. Let us quickly go over the similarities of both flashlights. Yes, yeah, so both the P10iX and the P20iX come with 4X Cree XP L2 V6 LEDs and are capped at 4000 lumens max. They both have the same five brightness modes and two operating modes, daily and tactical. They both come with 5000 milliamp NL2500 HPI series batteries designed for Nikkor's i-series flashlights. They both are USB rechargeable. They both come with Nikkor's second generation strobe ready tail cap, giving you the option for instant strobe. They have battery levels and charging status indicators, non-linear strobe frequencies, advanced temperature regulation modes, all of the standard features you expect on a Nikkor flashlight. Right, so let us move on to the differences of the P10iX and P20iX. Of course, the primary difference is that the P20iX having the larger bezel, this portion of the bezel is made of stainless steel, whereas the body is anodized aluminum like the P10iX. And embedded within the stainless steel bezel are three silicone nitride glass breakers. And I will play a clip here of the P20iX video where Jordan breaks the glass with this. The P10iX has a straight tube design, bulging rolled stop notwithstanding. So the maximum diameter at the end where the reflector is is one inch. Whereas the P20iX being more of a traditional handle with the bell-shaped reflector, the bezel is wider at 1.25 inches, a quarter of an inch wider than the P10iX. Now, because both of these lights are capable of a 4000 lumen turbo, heat dissipation is very important. And as I'm sure you all know, increasing the surface area is better at dissipating more heat. Thus, the same principle can be seen in elephant's ears. That is why I believe the P10iX has an extra radiative cooling fin of a 4 to the P20iX's 3 as a measure to compensate for the smaller circumference. Furthermore, due to the larger bezel, although the handle diameter is the same for both flashlights, the P20iX is ever so slightly longer at 5.57 inches and the P10iX is at 5.4 inches. And finally, the biggest impact this bezel change has on the two flashlights are its ability to concentrate light. First, both lights have the same battery, same LED configuration, and same rated brightness settings with identical runtimes. Thus, we can maintain the assumption that Nikkor has designed both of these lights to draw the same amount of power. Yet, the P20iX at its 4000 lumen max is capable of a 241 yard max beam throw, with the peak beam intensity at 12200 candela, whereas the P10iX at its 4000 lumen max is capable of 172 yards of beam throw, with its peak beam intensity at 6250 candela. And because of all the aforementioned variables being synchronous, I believe we can wholly attribute the difference in throw and beam intensity to the depth and subsequent available surface area of the reflector. The P10iX reflector is rather shallow, whereas the P20iX reflector, though still shallow in comparison to single LED lights, is more deeper, thus providing more surface areas for the generated light to reflect and collimate. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the P10iX and P20iX in a dark room, equidistance from the wall. You can see that the P10iX has almost no hotspot, just fill light, whereas the P20iX does have a relative hotspot. For comparison, here is a regular P20i. Now fortunately, this discrepancy is almost imperceivable out in the field, especially at greater distances. Both of these lights are incredibly floody and incredibly bright and provide plenty of illumination much to the chagrin of my neighbors. And of course, there are a few other subtle differences. For instance, the P10iX has three slots to choose where to fit your pocket clip, whereas the P20iX only has two. If you are considering either of these lights for your EDC, you have to take the different dimensions into account. The P10iX, of course, due to its slim profile, is comfortable to clip and carry inside of your pocket 
even for ladies' pants, which are usually tighter and smaller. Kelly, how does that test? It's a flashlight in a pocket. Cool. And it's not like too uncomfortable or feel yeah. unwieldy? Just, it's fine. <laughs> awesome. Next one. Now, for comparison, we will try the P20iX. Of course, you can still fit this inside one's pocket, but I'm guessing it's a lot more snug and because of the larger bezel. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. It's not as comfortable as the P10iX. Not at all. Now, of course, here's a little tip for those of you out there. You can still always clip the pocket clip on the outside of your pocket. And this way, you can carry the flashlight around this way. Finally, another key difference is that the Nikkor P10iX comes with an NTH10 polymer holster, which are designed for our 1 inch tube diameter flashlights, such as this P10iX. Of course, the Nikkor P20iX with the 1.25 inch diameter bezel comes with the NTH20 polymer holster. Cool. Both of them, of course, are MOLLE compatible and have clips in the back that can be adjusted to fit big duty belts up to 3 inches wide. One minor nuance I personally enjoy of the NTH20 over the NTH10 is that you can push the flashlight out and forward, like the motion of using a shift knob in a manual transmission car. To me, that feels a lot more natural than having to pull up and out, which you have to do with the NTH10. That concludes the concept video breakdown of the difference between the Nikkor P10iX and the Nikkor P20iX. Nikkor's two latest tactical flashlights with a quad LED array for 4,000 lumens of power. As a way of showing our appreciation to you, our YouTuber audience, save 10% on your entire order when you use the coupon code U10 at checkout. If you have enjoyed this video or think he's a big dumb fart, Please leave a comment or suggestion below. To stay up to date on further product releases, sales announcements, specials, and more, please consider subscribing to our Nightcore YouTube channel and thank you. Thank you. Wow. P10iX breakdown video. Ooh, breakdown video. Furthermore, due to the larger bezel, although the handner diameter is the same for both, the P20iX is ever so slightly longer at 5.57 inches to the P10iX 5.4 inches. I'm cool. gonna redo that because okay. I think I fudged a word. Yeah, you Asianed. You Asian <laughs> the handle. You hand her. Hand her diameter. Thanks. Yeah. Alright. So then what are the sub oh. So then what are some of the differences? Oh wait, sorry, I was like smiling way too hard there. I don't want people to think I'm happy. Okay, go. Chris Arios for the generated light to reflect and culminate. It's like, do you know, do you know any Australians? It's like, imagine saying, call her mate. Like, call a mate. Just call a mate. Know, it's I call, see. call a mate. I know. The P10iX, of course, due to its slim profile, is comfortable to clip and carry inside the pocket. What? Inside first. Oh. <laughs> Ready?